Hey, welcome to our paint models. In today's video, we're going to be painting the Fast Riders bases in a mossy autumn type feel. So in addition to the paints listed before, you will also need some leaf scatter, some grass tufts that look like moss, and some water effects. So to start this all off, we're going to base coat the base with Rhinox Hide. Do this in two thin coats and try to be neat. We're then going to base coat all of the stones and rocks in Mechanica Standard Grey. Now we're going to take some Skaven Blight Dinge and a piece of old sponge and we're going to sponge on some of that onto the rocks and onto the tree trunks and tree stumps. Next we're going to take some Storm Vermin Fur and we're going to sponge that onto a slightly smaller area than before. This just helps us build up our texture. Once that's all done, we're going to take some Administratum Grey and we're going to dry brush that all over the rocks and the tree trunks. Once you've done all of the dry brushing, wash everything you've done so far with non oil. Don't let it pull too much on the flat surfaces of the rocks, but otherwise just kind of, you know, slap it on. While that's still wet, take some Methonian camo shade and you want to mix this in on the surfaces of the tree trunks. Anyway, where you want it to look a little bit mossy. This just gives it a bit of a green tinge. Now we're going to take a piece of sponge and some Death World Forest and we're going to start building up our moss on our tree trunks here. Now I'm only applying the moss mostly to the tree trunks. There's a little bit on the stones, but I'm concentrating on the tree trunks here because it's uh, an organic surface and you know, moss would take to it really well. Next, we're going to take some Ogryn Camo and we're going to apply that just to the very ends of the tree trunks, just build up our moss effect and get some lighter colours in there. Now, I, it was pretty much inevitable that I got some of this on my model while I was doing it, so you just go back and touch up afterwards if you get it on there. Next, paint all of the leaves that are on the base with Scrag Brown. This will probably take two coats to cover because it's a layer paint. Now I'm going to take some watered down Zandri dust. This is a very watered down, almost to a wash like consistency. I'm just going to run this over all of the, uh, the bare earth that's visible. I'm not going to apply this to the extent that it completely covers the bare earth. I'm almost, I am using this like a wash at this point, just letting it run into the recesses. Just so there's a bit more tonal variation on the earth because it was, the earth was starting to meld into the stone a little bit. Now once that's dry, I'm going to use some long beard grey and I'm going to use this to dry brush the earth and the rocks. I'm also going to hit the leaves up with that, but that's only because it's kind of inevitable.
I'm going to take some Agrax Earth Shade and we're going to wash this over all of the rocks, then the leaves, and the earth. I'm also going to go a little bit up onto the tree trunks, just kind of blending it in anywhere I want it to look a bit more dirty. You can use a clean brush to feather this out if you uh, get it in areas where you don't want the transition to be too harsh. Now I'm also going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade and just create some tonal variation with this. I'm also going to make sure I get this on top of all of the leaves so they've got a more of a red shade going on. And again, I'm going to run this up onto the tree trunk just a little bit and then feather it out. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to re-highlight all of the edges of my leaves with Scrag Brown. I'm making sure to leave the wash in the little crease that's in the middle of the leaves. And that's the painting stage done. We're onto using the scatter materials now. So for this, you can see that tree trunk, you can't really get in there to paint it with a sponge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of these Tajima 1 uh, grass tufts. These are the moss tufts that you can get from them. There'll be a link in the doobly-doo for these. <coughs> and I'm just going to apply these in here because a lot of the time moss will grow inside of a fallen tree trunk. And this is clearly not a freshly cut tree. This is a tree that's been lying in the forest for a good long while. So moss has taken root here and has decided to run rampant on the inside of this tree trunk. And it just creates a bit more interest, makes it look a, it makes it look less plasticky on the inside there. As you can see, I'm just picking up my grass tufts. So I'm using a mix of long and short ones here just to give it a bit more variation. I'm using the shorter ones towards the um, open area of the tree trunk. I'm just using some tweezers to apply and press those in. They're self adhesive so they glue on very easily just with some pressure. I'm also going to apply some of these on the outside areas of the uh, base. And so, you know, once it's done it looks a bit like this. Now I'm using still water here to apply my leaf scatter. Now I'm using this rather than PVA glue because it flows nicer over the surface and it dries glossy and completely clear. You could use PVA glue and you could water it down, but I just prefer using this. Next I'm using some leaf litter and I got this from Antonio Setti's workshop. Again there'll be a link in the doobly doo as to where you can get this. And I'm just using some tweezers to pick up some of these leaves and apply them to where I've got my water effects. Now I'm trying not to press these down too much because I do want them to look like they've fallen naturally and I don't want to push them down and make them all flat. Now with some of these models I was able to actually just kind of dunk the base in there and pick up leaf litter that way but this guy wasn't having any of it. So I had to carefully pick it up with my tweezers and drop it onto the base. And you can see once I've got all the leaf scatter on there, I'm brushing some of it off and I'm using my tweezers to kind of reposition the leaf scatter where I want it to be. And also if it's not adhering in some areas, for example, where the moss is, it wasn't going to stick on there. The uh, tendrils of the moss was too springy in order to let it stick. I was um, using the tweezers to reposition it into areas where there was more water effects where it would actually stick. As you can see, you can't really see the uh, painted on leaves after you've done this step but if the painted on leaves were painted a different color you would notice so you've got to leave this to dry for a couple of hours the water effects dries relatively quickly but try not to blow too hard on the miniature while it's drying otherwise you will blow off a lot of your leaf scatter give it a few taps to get the excess off. Now one thing I didn't show because I lost the footage for it was I used some Waywatcher green um, in some glazes over the moss just to make them a little bit brighter because they weren't quite as green as the um, grass tufts that I had applied. I also used some Ogryn camo on a dry brush and just kind of ran that through the tendrils of the moss in order to kind of tone them down and detach them a bit and that just made all of the moss paint and the moss um, scatter look more similar to each other. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe if you do. Um, there's a subscribe button in the top left and you can check out my Patreon in the bottom right there. 
there's another video you can watch over there on the screen and also my social medias where you can you know keep up to date on what it is i'm up to so thanks for watching bye